heard a weird noise. I'm moving in to investigate. I've only seen him being proactive once before. You know when we met them? No. Man, it's me again. Yeah, it was nothing. Back to it, I guess. I don't know what you're working on. Well, I guess if we need him, we need to break one of the cameras. office. I feel like giving that bit woman a piece of my mind. I gave this place everything. Stay here. I'll take a look. That's understood. Hey. I can't believe it. I hit every quota they threw at me. How... how could she do this? I can't... Oh, this isn't good. Oh, I don't think this is good at all. That's the first backup data disk secured. Two more. These files down to the first floor. So are we just let anyone from IT in there? That's right. You know how crap this old building is with the wireless. You know? The director hates seeing cables anywhere. Unless well, she had a router installed in her office, but it died a lot. And to need for IT to drop by every now and again. Come on, sir. If I couldn't see you, a pose would look pretty badass, but I can't. So, cut it. That's right. You know how crap this old building is with the wireless. Now the director hates seeing cables anywhere? 
Well, she had a router installed in her office, but she died a lot. Hence the need for IT to drop by every now and again. Got it. Chuck Wright, I need you to keep a close eye on those people in the upstairs conference room. Under no circumstances are they to leave the bank. It's Charles, Mr. Matt. And yes, Mr. Perez, our head of security, already notified me. I'm keeping an eye out. Right, Perez is in. Except, you know, it's my investigation up there. I need to talk to him. Keep it a hundred, squad. You do that, Mr. Man. Forty-seven. That's Fabian Mann, head of accounts at this branch of Milton Fitzpatrick. Hey, are you okay? You definitely don't smell okay. Second backup data disk is secured. Just one to go, 47. If you want to come through this way, I'm going to have to do a quick pat down. Yeah, let me take a look. Just like the movies, right? Thank you for your patience, sir. I'm here for a meeting with Director Scores. That's right, go inside. Thank you. Mr. Jackson. Have a seat, please. Thank you. Mr. Jackson, as you must be aware, we've been running some numbers internally to measure the flexibility and productivity of people working here at the bank. Work hours, output versus input, sales portfolios, late nights and early mornings, things like that. I've been reviewing personnel files for the past few weeks, and a couple of files stood out. Yours, for instance. Is that so? I have quite specific expectations when it comes to my employees. How you appear and act reflects directly on me and this building. And, well, you've certainly managed to stand out, Mr. Jackson. Tell me, do you knit those sweaters yourself? Or does your wife do that? A man needs a hobby, Miss Savalas. God. Leave the room. I need a moment alone, Mr. Jackson. So, Mr. Jackson, I'm pleased to inform you that you will be able to explore your hobbies in even greater detail in the near future. We're letting you go, Mr. Jackson. The bank appreciates your contributions over the years, but we feel it's probably best to part ways at this time. This may upset you, but let me assure you that eventually you will come to embrace this point in your life as an opportunity. This is not my first termination, Miss Savalas. Ah, uh, somehow I'm not surprised. HR will send you all the relevant papers, Mr. Jackson. Please gather your things as soon as you can. Good day, Mr. Jackson. Huh? That's 
That's the last objective completed. Exfiltrate the bank, 47. Miss Hall will want to have a close look at that data. Director Savalas eliminated. Good work, 47.